गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज अशन टू फ्रॉम दी प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ जे एडवांस पार्ट टू द चैप्टर इज इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेज एंड फील्ड एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस इन द इन द जे ई एडवांस पेपर इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन नाउ दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन विच आई सपोज दैट इट इज ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ द बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन ये क्वेश्चन आई टी एडवांस में पूछा जरूर गया है बट इसका जो दिफिकल्टी इज कंपेरेबल टू वॉट कुड बी आस्ट इन द बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन सो इट इज अ क्वेश्चन विच आई सपोज दैट इट इज ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ द बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन ये क्वेश्चन आई टी एडवांस में पूछा जरूर गया है बट इसका जो लेवल ऑफ द डिफिकल्टी इज कंपेरेबल टू वॉट कुड बी आस्ट इन द बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन सो यहां पर आपको कोई कैलकुलेशन करने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट विद ऑफ दिस डायग्राम वी विल बी एबल टू फाइंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हियर सो हियर देर इज अ लिस्ट विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ चार्जेस एंड दिस लिस्ट टू इट इज गिविंग यू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द resultant force on this charge q so first important thing is we all have to remember is the electrostatic force between the like charges is repulsive first thing that is if these two charges are positive on or, or negative then the electrostatic force will be repulsive that is if these two charges are positive the, the direction of the force on this charge q due to this charge q1 will, will be acting in this direction and if the charges are unlike that is if one is positive and one is negative then the direction of the force uh, this electrostatic force will be attractive so uh, i have just drawn here uh, one you can see here so this is basically the direction of the force if this charge q3 is negative okay and this is the direction of the charge uh, this electrostatic force if this charge q4 is negative so i've just uh, drawn these uh, arrows in order to explain you the direction of the forces in the case of like charges and unlike charges now the electrostatic force is given by fe is equal to k q1 q2 divided by the r square where r is the separation between the two charges now in this in this case uh there are four charges which are lying on the x axis the charge q3 and q4 are lying uh, are uh, lying at a distance of a and 2a respectively along the positive x direction and this charge q1 and q2 are lying along the x axis in the negative direction at a distance of a and 2a respectively so and this is the charge q which is placed at a at a uh, at the coordinate 0b so this is the uh Uh, so the uh, distance of this charge q from the origin along the y axis is b so uh, now here since this distance and this distance are equal and uh, this is the common height so the distance between this charge small q and q1 and the distance between the charge small q and q4 will be equal so i have already uh, just uh, uh, shown it here similarly the distance between this charge small q and q2 and the distance between the small q and this uh, q3 will also be equal so which are the, i have already shown it here now so the uh, the magnitude of the electrostatic force here in this case that is fe will is directly uh, proportional to 1 divided by r square that is if the distance between them reduces the electrostatic force will increase and if the distance increases then the electrostatic force will decrease the direction depends on the combination of charge if the both the charges are like then the force will be um it will be repulsive and if the both the charges are unlike then the force will be attractive so now let us take the first case here the first case is all charges are positive q1 q2 q3 and q4 are, are positive so in that case because these are the like charges so the direction of force because of q1 q2 q3 and q4 uh is indicated by these arrows the direction of force due to this q1 is f1 the uh, direction or you can say the direction and the magnitude of the uh, force due to q2 on this q1 is f2 and the direction is given by these uh, arrows similarly the direction of the force uh due to this uh, charge q3 and q4 is uh is f3 and f4 uh, as shown by these arrows so in this case the resultant force we have to calculate the resultant force on this charge q so the resultant of f4 and f2 will be acting along along the y axis why because 
the magnitude of f4 and f2 the magnitude of f4 and f1 is equal and they are also uh, inclined you can say at the uh, same angle with the x axis so since they are inclined at the same angle with the x axis and their magnitude are equal therefore the resultant of f1 and f4 will be along the y axis similarly the resultant of f2 and f3 will also be along the y axis so the resultant force on q small q due to these uh, this combination will be along the positive y axis so here the first combination is like this that is uh, p is will be linked to plus uh, y that is this this is basically giving you the direction of the resultant force on the charge uh, small q so when all charges are positive the direction is along the um, the direction of the net force on this charge, small q is along the positive y axis now let us take the second case uh, q1 and q2 are positive now this these two are positive so the uh, direction of the force will be as indicated by this arrow q1 q3 and q4 are negative so in the case of negative charge this is positive this is negative so the force will be attractive and it will be indicated by these two arrows so okay uh, so the uh, electrostatic force due to this charge q3 on q uh, will be pointing uh, pointing in the in this direction as so shown by this arrow similarly the electrostatic force due to this charge q4 on this charge q small q will be pointing in this direction now the resultant of now you can what what we can do is q1 the resultant of f1 and the and the result f1 and let us say this is f4 in the second case and this is f3 in the second case so the resultant of f1 and f4 as per the parallelogram law of vector addition it will be along this axis along the positive x axis like this and the resultant of f3 and f3 and f2 f3 and f2 it will be again along this positive x axis so the resultant force on q uh, uh, when uh, when the combination is this one that is q1 and q2 are positive and q3 and q4 are negative so in that case the direction of the resultant force on the small charge q will be positive x axis so i got the second match now oh, let us uh, <clears throat> see the third and in this case you have to only find three matches because once i get the match for this the fourth option you will automatically get, get the fourth option so uh, q1 and q2 are positive q1 and sorry q1 and q4 are positive so if q1 and q4 are positive so the in this case the direction of force because they are positive so the uh, the direction of this uh, force that is f1 will be as uh, indicated by this arrow and the direction of force due to this charge q4 will be as indicated by this arrow second thing q1 and q2 and q3 are negative q2 and q3 are negative ye negative hai. so the direction of force will be let us say this is now f2 f2 will be here here f2 and uh, q3 q3 uh, so this is a uh, negative so the uh, direction of force will be uh, as given by this arrow because the force of attraction is attractive now so it will be pointing downward now here the most important thing here if we have what we have to uh, um, remember is that this force this electrostatic force is uh, proportional to 1 by r square that is if r decreases electrostatic force increases the magnitude of these charges are the same the com the magnitude of the combination of the charges is the same here only the distance is varying now in this case the electrostatic force due to this charge q1 and uh, this charge q4 means if i add up the electrostatic force that is q1 yeah i'm writing q1 the electrostatic force due to this charge q1 and q4 will be less than the uh, sum of the electrostatic force due to this charge q2 and q3 because this distance 
this distance between this small this charge q and q2 is less this distance is less in comparison to this distance therefore the electrostatic force as per this formula will be more in the case of this charge q2 and q3 so the resultant now the, the the resultant force because of these two charges will be pointing in this direction and the resultant force because of this charge q1 and q4 this will be point, pointing along this y direction but because the uh, the magnitude of q2 and q3 is more uh, uh, that is q2 plus q3 is more the uh, force due to the uh, charge q2 and q3 is more than the sum of the electrostatic force due to q1 and q4 therefore the net force on this charge q will be pointing downward that is it will be along the negative y axis so this will be this combination goes like this okay so here our answer is now so i got so p is uh, so the uh, the correct we have to find the correct option uh, option here so p3 here so p3 is there p is linked to two, uh, this option q is linked to one this is one and uh, r to four but here this is r r is linked to four is four and uh, s is then automatically this will be uh, this will be two okay like we don't have to go further so the correct option here is a p is linked to this uh, uh, this uh, three q is linked to one r is linked to four and s will automatically will be linked to two so this is how you have to find this uh, the solution of this question this was a question which was taken up in the iit advance uh, paper was uh, it was asked in the year 2014 but uh, i think this is a very very easy question and probably uh, maybe this sort of question can even be asked in the board examination so thank you very much for joining this session and in the next session i will be continuing with the same chapter and uh, i will be coming up with another uh, question which was asked in the je advanced paper and so uh, till then have a nice day bye